Okay, let's go ahead and burn after receiving. So this whole episode was basically centered around Wendy. The girls are saying she's condescending and all this other crazy stuff, which they all are. But somehow Wendy is held to a different degree of, you know, scrutiny. So she, Karen and Ashley go picking lilies, I think. They discuss like her plans to have this bond party and we kind of follow the anticipation. Giselle and her daughters are planning a sweet 16 and what else happened? Candice was kind of talking to her sister about basically everything happening in the group. So let's get to the burn session. Wendy was really big for doing this and she puts herself on the hot seat first. Everybody's pretty positive. Mia wants to have beef for no reason because she wants to be part of the green eyed bandits, you can tell. So I'm going to skip over her. We get to Robin. Robin doesn't say shit. Giselle basically echoes the same thing. So they're moving on. Next thing, they want to say shit after they don't said oh, I, we have oil and water, so we have nothing to say. And then Robbie starts getting crunk, talking about, you said I touched you, I got up, and someone had to hold me back. Of course, the great producers show us the evidence in front of us, and we're like, bitch, Sharice with her muscles held you back, and you almost went through her like the Hulk. So what are we angry about? And I love how composed Wendy was. She did not raise her voice. She didn't get crunk. She said, those are my truths. I had truths math match the producers so we're just like why are you going crazy and robin is like screaming screaming her and giselle and karen is like why y'all screaming y'all said wendy's the problem but in this moment you guys look crazy as hell and is the look of from wendy for me because i was just like what the hell what is going on like, what is really going on? And yes, when this first season, she was getting her wet, her feet wet. People are going to be uncomfortable when they first come on. So we get that, but she's improved over the years. Honestly, they just don't want to like her. Then Robin goes to sit in the car and we find out she can't even leave because the ladies are still inside. So that was a stupid move. <laughs> I know on Twitter, some people were like, Wendy still won. Even though you were screaming, you were loud, you were belligerent. And what Wendy said was facts. And you had to pout, go sit down in a hot ass van because you're so stupid. Robin, I was rooting for you, but God damn, you're still under Giselle. As we recover from the whole Wendy, Robin, Giselle tag team, Ashley brings up talking to Candace about her problem with her, talking about, oh, Chris was in my friend's DM. And Candace is looking like, didn't I have this hole at my house? Where is this shit from? And you know, Candice, if Candice can't do anything, Candice can read you down. She called her Bulba's forehead. She knew she was conniving. And as she starts smiling, talking about, oh, it's not good when it's on the other foot, right? Like, now it's your turn. You're mad. And I'm like, oh, so this is, you're showing your hand. They're trying to basically say, my husband sucks, your husband sucks too, but it's different. You guys are putting 10 on 2, and you guys know Chris is innocent. So I cannot wait for Candice to handle her. Like Candice is going to eat her out and spit her out. Like OMG. This was crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all thought. I'm ready for next week's episode, y'all.